Speaking about big men in rubber suits, we got a reveal today. We got a reveal today on this holy day of 420, the Lord's holiday. We got the reveal of Ultraman, Blazer. And I have been hearing rumors about this for a while, as we all have. But it's amazing that we got the reveal on 420 for an Ultraman Blazer. And if that wasn't enough to make me want to watch this show, let's just let's just react to the trailer real quick. Let's just watch the trailer. Uh, let's just start this real quick and and see something. Oh, those are English subs. As Ultraman does. What a concept. Ultraman <gasps> Blazer. Blazer. That's an English title. The brace is so fire, too. It's so ass and it's so fire at the same time. Oh! Oh! Roses! Roses! All of it! I'm sorry, did, it, did anyone miss that? Let me just rewind it. For those of you... For those of you just pulling up or that haven't said it in the chat. Uh, this is heart! This is heart from Kamen Rider Drive! He is the new Ultraman! Look at him! My boy is back! The Roid Mute survived! He was like, man, I own, I am the personal representation of one of the most ass common writers of all time. He's like, they made me common writer heart, and that was bad. So I'm gonna go be a badass Ultraman. Right off the bat. <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> this is just Godzilla. Sevenger Godzilla. This is awesome. It's Kiryu. <laughs> Night fights! Let's go! Day fights! Let's go! The finisher! Guys, I say this once a year. So I feel like I should say it again. I'm gonna watch Ultraman this season. <laughs> I'm gonna watch Ultraman this season. Holy hell! This looks great, and it has heart. Also, uh, uh, b -b 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 rumors say that it's gonna have Mio, Mio Kudo, Mio Kudo, Mia, Mii, Mio Kudo. Is that her name? Seo from Kira Major, Canon from Ghost. <laughs> but uh, that's not even the biggest part of the news. You ready for this? New TV series Ultraman Blazer will start from July eighth. Shout out. The series will be simultaneously broadcasted in major, major Asian territories. An English dub will also be available online. And if we go into the actual release of it, this series is scheduled to be simultaneously broadcasted in major Asian regions and an English dub version will be available online. Simultaneously! Simultaneous English dub. I am loving the Zet dub right now. A simultaneous English dub for this thing? Where 
Ultraman fans now! This is Ultra Country now, bitches! We are Ultraman fans! Do you understand? There is... There is a Tokusatsu company in Japan that wants to do English dubs day and date. Same time. Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh. English dubs day and date, same time. Let's go. <laughs> this is sick. This is a cool poster too. The brace might be one of the ugliest things I've ever seen and I still want it. Uh, let's keep reading. <clears throat> the new television series Ultraman Blazer features a new hero, Ultraman Blazer, and Gento Hiruma. Ultraman Blazer is a hero with a great sense of justice, hailing from M421, an extragalactic astronomical object far from Earth. The main protagonist, Gento Hiruma, is the captain of the special kaiju reaction detachment, Scarred. Established by the Global Guardian Force, GGF, in a world where kaiju disasters are a common practice. This kind of sounds like it's going to be like a brand new uh, continuity-ish for Ultraman. If not just multi multiverse situation like Ultraman likes to do. Universe, there we go. Um, when their strong desire for power to save human lives resonates, the two unite. This show portrays the captain who can transform into Ultraman and... The heartwarming human drama then unfolds of the GGF while depicting its it using the science fiction touch unique to the Ultraman series. The theme of this series is communication, communication between human and Ultraman, humanity and kaijus and aliens, the warriors on the battlefield, and the commanders in the office, parent and child. That's right. That's right. Oh, sorry. Did I forget to mention this? Ultraman is a dad in this. Heart has a child and a wife. Ultraman Dilf, baby! Chant my name! Ultraman Dilf! <laughs> How important is communication to overcome conflicts that arise from differences in views and standpoints to be able to co cooperate with each other? This is a heartwarming human drama that showcases the characters as they face various hardships that could easily occur in real life within the world of the fun and entertaining Ultraman. I am so, this is beautiful. You know how I'm like, man, all Ultraman look the same and I can't tell the difference between them. I'm not going to forget what Blazer looks like. This is a good looking Ultraman. This is a unique looking Ultraman. He's got this kind of segmented like abs, like um, I think Nex Nexus does. I think it's Nexus. See, I can't even tell what Nexus is. I know what Nexus is head. Looks like a little UFO. But other than that, I don't know. Aggressive eyebrows. <laughs> um, this one looks sick. It does look a little buildy with the red and blue. Maybe that's why I like it, though. He must be an absolute pain to draw, dude. Shout out to fan artists everywhere. You guys are doing God's work. <laughs> Uh, somebody on Twitter said he had eyeliner, and I thought that was the most hilarious thing. They're like, two Ultraman in a row with eyeliner? I'm winning! And, uh, I think it's dope. This is a great-looking Ultraman. I would cosplay the shit out of this. I would buy a figure art of this. Oh! Oh! It's so good. Uh, let's see. Where'd I... One of the biggest features of this series is that the main character, Gento Hiruma, who transforms as an, into Ultraman, is the captain of the defense team. This is an uh, this is an unprecedented setting in the 50-year-long history of the Ultraman series. Captain Gento Hiruma is the leader of SCAR, and while struggling as a mental manager from the pressures from his superiors and the members of his team, he fights against the attacks and the kaijus and the aliens. Guys, he's middle management. He's Ultraman Michael Scott. This is amazing. Tomoya Warabino, Warabino, a popular actor who made his acting debut in 2007 and is well known to fans of hero shows because he's heart in Kamen Rider Drive, plays the protagonist for this series. Uh, acclaimed for his ability to play serious roles while also adding humor will depict this main character who also has a wife and child for the first time in the TV series. 
Gento transforms into Ultraman Blazer using the Blazer Stone, a crystal infused with the power of light, and the Blazer Brace. The lead director is Keiotaka Taguchi, who has been directing the, the series since Ultraman Z Peak, by the way. Uh, director Kyoto Taguchi will also be in charge of story composition along with Keigo Koyanagi, who had worked on Ultraman Z as a military advisor and was also the script writer for Ultraman Trigger and this series. Please look forward to the new series Ultraman Blazer, which marks the 10th anniversary of the new generation Ultraman series. This series explores a completely different style from the previous series under the direction of Kiyotaka Taguchi. Trailer now available on YouTube and there's a better look at the dope ass Mecha Godzilla looking thing that I don't think is in this poster up here that it showed. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, he's right there. For the last couple years, and this is probably like uh, up until about two years ago, I was like, man, Ultraman's kind of boring. It's not for me. It's 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 really not. I tried Orb, and I'm gonna tell you right now, between me and the uh, however many of you are here right now. I fell asleep every episode of Orb. I watched 15 episodes. There's only 25. I only had 10 to go. And I fell asleep during every single episode of Orb. And I was like, man, maybe Ultraman's just not for me. Maybe I'm maybe I'm bored of this. And then I saw Jeed, and I kind of like Jeed. We watched it for Tokusatsu World Tour. And then Zet came out, and I was like, oh, Zet's pretty cool. And then I just gradually fell off of Zet. As it was uh, simulcasting. But the amount of effort that Subaraya puts in every year. Because it's not just like Derive. a little bit. Like I said, the amount of effort Subaraya puts in year over year. Because it's not just like, all right, we got simulcast. When we got simulcast with Zet, that was such a gigantic deal for people. And then we got that for a few more years. And then they're like, hey, we're going we're gonna to do a dub of Zet. We're going to do an English dub of Zet. And we're going to put out two every week. So you don't have to like wait. 25 weeks for it to be over. We're just going to give it to you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And now they're like, oh, you guys really like the dub. So I'm going to give you simulcast of the dub. And that is crazy. That is legit insane. It makes me, I don't know if anyone knows the history behind this because you can go, you can go check it out. Subaraya and Chayo. Um, two companies who both claim to own Ultraman after the uh, Edgy Subaraya's passing. I think the story goes that Edgy Subaraya, uh, somebody somebody at Shio was like, hey, Edgy Subaraya or Edgy Subaraya signed over Ultraman to us. So they were in like a court battle for years and years and years. And as soon as Subaraya won that court battle, then we started getting all this stuff. Then they started that global pitch. That's when we got the Mill Creek DVDs. We have like almost every Ultraman series on uh, Blu-ray at this point. That's when we started getting all this stuff. So just to think if like Subaraya had control, full control of Ultraman this entire time, how popular they could have made it. Because they're starting behind the line. <laughs> Toei's been Toei has been Super Sentai and Kamen Rider this whole time. All theirs. Besides the Hasbro stuff with Power Rangers, but all theirs. And they have done next to nothing to uh, further that. As soon as Subaraya got their hands completely on Ultraman, they were like, let's get this shit global because we know it can do well. And Ultraman has found like a brand new audience in the last couple of years, especially after the Mill Creek releases. Um, just a few more about Blazer because I'm like actually really hyped about it. So here's it showing off. Here's the Blazer Brace, which is a wrist brace, which I think is the first time in Ultraman that's ever happened. Um, I, I've, I've heard cards, and but basically we get Sentai Gears. We get Ultraman Sentai Gears. This is what it looks like. It goes in the side right here. Um, here's the Tactical Armor I Kaiju Earth Garen. And it's just a sick looking Kaiju. <laughs> Ultraman Nice has an arm brace too. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know why Toei doesn't understand that they get more money if they allow the West to have Sentai and Rider. Because Toei understands that uh, this one's called uh, Earth Garen. Toei understands that they're going to get the money no matter what. Because Fan Subber is going to do free labor for them. And we're going to keep buying toys. Uh, a lot more talking about the main cast and everything. There is one more thing I wanted to point out because it is. 
not clear on it, but I just wanted to throw it out there to make sure everyone that we're all on the same page. Uh, here it is. So, simultaneous broadcast release of dubbed versions around the globe. First ever in the series, an English dubbed version of Ultraman uh, Blazer is scheduled to release online simultaneously with the Japanese version. Series is scheduled to be simultaneously broadcast in six major Asian regions and dubbed in local languages. So if we go down here, though, there's a note that says simultaneous broadcast refers to the release of the program within approximately one week of its broadcast in Japan. I don't know if this necessarily means the English dub, but I just wanted to point that out, that the dub... The simultaneous broadcastness of the dub might be up to a week later. Um, and that's just something we'll have to wait till July 8th to find out if that's how it goes. Because the subs will not be. The subs have always been, since they started doing it with Zet, English subs have always been simulcast as soon as the Japanese subs are simulcast. Or as soon as the Japanese, uh, the actual show is out. And the subs just get added on YouTube. Hakwa, you have both in Toku Tuesday night. It's, it's a hard... Here's the thing for me because I've always ran Toku Tuesday night like this. And it's that I think if something is offered for free online this way, then like, I don't want to take views away from that. Given I don't get, we don't get the, a ton of views to make a dent in Ultraman, but I don't want to refer you to me when Subarai is doing, putting all this work in for people. Um, I want them to see any kind of numbers that they can have. Is the dub going to be for free for Ultraman? Yeah, it is. Super Ride does free, free simulcasting of their show every Friday night. Every Friday night, you get a free simulcast. Not every Friday, but every Friday night that it's airing, it was always free simulcast dubs or subs, and they're going to do the same with the dub as well. And it's literally just going to be on YouTube. Blazer Brace, and here's him using it. Take the Blazer Stone. Drop it in the side. It shifts open. It has these fun spilly LED, spinny LEDs. And then you push the side like that, and there he is. Whew. I, I think it looks the. I think the actual brace looks kind of dumb, but I really want the toy. <laughs> I really want the toy because I really want the stones. So I might have to get it. What are your thoughts on the suit? I think it's fantastic. I think this is exactly how you do um, a, a newer Ultraman suit. I was talking about it earlier. Like I can tell the difference between this and any other Ultraman. It's got that Zet um, uniqueness to it that every time I see it in a lineup, I'm not going to confuse it. Orb, I kind of get confused with Orb because I think there's another Ultraman that has like a circular type thing on him. Um, Tiga and Trigger, I get confused with a lot because, like, obviously they're supposed to be the same. I don't think I get confused with um, Decker because I think I just look for the space in his forehead and it's like, oh, that's Decker. But this this one is sick and this one is so distinctive that, like, I'm gonna every time I'm gonna be like, that's Blazer, that looks fire. Rider with their P Bandai LED color belts, Chad Ultraman with regular release, whatever <laughs> device it is this time. They're just like, here, take it. It's fine. And I guess Thomas was saying um, it has actor voice lines in it. So, like, it's like a memorial. Uh, but that's Ultraman Blazer. I thought I just wanted to talk about it. I thought it was super cool. I, Yeah, I, just, I don't know what else to say other than, like, July 8th. Hurry up, because I want to see this goddamn Godzilla thing in action. It's just, it's a, it's a very cool looking dragon, guys, and I want it.